Morning peeps. See that up there? That's the moon. And over there is the sun coming up. But the problem is it's 4.30 in the morning. I don't get this. It's like really weird. I'm on Adelaide time, so it kind of works, but like it's freezing. And I'm just kind of freaked out how light it is at 4.30 in the morning. We're at Cockle Biddy and uh, making that last little run to um, to Perth now. So it's vlog day. Now for the moment we've been building this electrical system up for, we're going to plug the kettle, yes, an electric kettle, into the inverter and see if we can make some uh, early morning tea and coffee. As every YouTuber does when they talk about lithium and induction cooking or whatever, you've got to boil a litre of water, you've got to time it and then show how many amps it uses, so I'll just follow suit and do all that. Right, one litre of water. Click. Timer has started. The inverter is humming. Actually, that's the battery because I think I need to weigh it down a bit. All right, let's go check uh, the app. Uh, it's been a bit of a fail uh, overcurrent from the battery, but it was pulling 2.7 kilowatts out of the DCS battery. So I've just started my car, which will kick in the DC DC 40 amp charger, and um, we'll have another go. Oh. I can hear the kettle starting to boil. This is turning into another don't do what Dave did. Um, I'm sure all the battery heads out there will be, you know, <laughs> going bananas at me right now. I did do a test before I left, um, but admittedly the battery was on uh, close to 100%. Uh, I had the car running. Oh, I was just cutting in and out. The kettle just started again. Um, and I had the solar out and everything. So it worked then fine. Now it's uh, struggling a little bit, but I think we will get a coffee. And we're just torturing that poor battery. All right, we are boiled. Six minutes, we'll round it up. Coffee's on, Charlie. Oh, I need it. <laughs> All right, so it can do it, but it takes six minutes and you torture the battery. I think next time, of course, because when you've got lower voltage, that means higher current. So I think when I do it next time, I might start the car for five minutes first, get the voltage right up um, and then do it. Nonetheless, we will have warm drinks momentarily. that little white line for I don't know how many kilometers now lots um, I've, it's got me thinking a bit actually about some videos that I want to do in the future um, like for example uh, about suspension I want to talk a bit about uh, coil lifts versus lower control on lifts but more in detail so I can 
like in the way I do stuff, cause and effect. I'm not an engineer or a mechanic by any means, but what I can do is go and fit parts to cars and then tell you how it goes. Because I want to look at up travel versus down travel, what gets robbed with one type of lift over another, um, because I think we need to know that. Um, I've got a few theories anyway. Uh, and go over wheel wobble again, because um, I reckon I got some things wrong in that last video or some sorry there's some things i've learned since that video that i'd like to share um about hbmc pressure so uh there's that um we're almost at norseman we're like 100 less than 100 k's from norseman so we're ahead of time we thought we wouldn't get there until tonight and it's like 10 a.m so um we'll keep motoring through instead of taking the black top we're gonna hit um the dirt road actually um i hear there's a well-maintained road um that was going to get us to Perth like two hours quicker. So, um, you know, if we pushed it, we could almost get to Perth tonight. Although I think I want one more free camp. Adventure is that way, the unknown of what's going to be up here. You WA people probably laugh at this because you know what's up there, but I don't like this. Like, could be something exciting, but no phone reception. I've already had to like stop because of um, you know, I had to put a bolt in my solar panel that connects to the um, roof rack. It's going to shake the car to pieces, or we go slow. But I really want to see what this track is. I've come this far up. There's obviously been big fires around here. I want to see what's up here. Now we're talking. 
end of this Norseman to Hayden uh, road, uh, going through that mining road, we found ourselves at Wave Rock. And I've seen people take photos of themselves in front of Wave Rock. And we just seem to have stumbled upon it. So um, we, we fell into the caravan park, said, have you got a site? Uh, so here we are, we're gonna stay in the Wave Rock Caravan Park. And in the past, you get to go look at the rock, whatever that is. And um, we'll go do that, I don't know, tonight, tomorrow, why not? This justifies the whole airbag thing. Ah. <laughs> <Cut>. <laughs> All right, this is kind of dubious now. Watch the ball weight. Too much to lift. I don't, it's gonna collapse. The pleasures of showing everything on camera. The other day when I had to move the camper to get to the caravan, to pull the camper up to get the caravan and all of that rubbish, I was pushing it, pushing the camper up the driveway um, with the jockey wheel and to get enough like force and momentum to get up the driveway, I kind of smashed the jockey wheel a bit. And it's been a bit rigid and stiff and playing up a bit. But what you just saw, I think, was it giving up. See the angle? <laughs> um, so we're going to go get a high lift. I usually hate high lifts, but anyway, I think that's the tool for this job. Lift the drawbar up, and then I don't know what after that. Raw and unedited. <laughs> this is what was supposed to happen. Please, I hope nothing goes wrong. I was going to drop it down. Down, down, down. I'm gonna move. Look at the jockey will move. I'm scared. And I was gonna go, this is why we can justify putting airbags in the camper. Please don't do anything wrong. Have we're level. It's cold again. What's for dinner, Charlie? Chicken calves. Chicken. Oh, okay. A couple of things I've got to comment on before we finish this video. One, the battery kettle thing. I oh, know I'm going to get smashed over that. So <laughs> I did turn the car on, which would have put 40 amps into the battery if I connected the Anderson plug up. So the car was running. Shouldn't happen. Uh, and the battery heads will smash me. So I'm going to say this. Basic rule, when you're doing, um, drawing high currents, inverters, all that sort of stuff, every 100 amps that you're gonna draw, you need a 100 amp hour battery. So a kettle draws, as we learned, 2.7 kilowatts. I really needed 300 amp hours of battery, and I didn't, and that's why I had problems. So sometime else in this video series, I'll go and do all that again, but that's why I had problems. Anyway. All right, so tomorrow we're probably going to go have a look at this rock thing, the wave rock, I suppose. There. It's over here. We'll look at the wave rock. And then, like, the last little stint, there's not far to go, um, to go to uh, Rockingham. And then we're going to Brunswick. Brunswick? Brunswick, yeah. Full driving somewhere. Um, thanks, Matt Shaw, for organising everything. Um, the cool part of all this is... Matt is the guy that bought my old car. So I'm going to reunite myself with my old Y62 and have my new 62, near new 62, coming along with me. Um, so that's what's happening next tomorrow. And Saturday is the event. Uh, and then after that is full drive show. So yeah, good more good content coming. And I'm going to see you next time on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha!